Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I just thought I'd come on and do a quick video of my little op shop haul that I did this morning. Um, I'm just trying to clear a space here on my table. <laughs> it, um, I had to go up I had to cross the border to go to our bank, my my bank, and I, I, I forgot that they don't have daylight savings in Queensland, so I got there quite early and I thought, oh, what am I going to do until it opens, you know, at half past nine. So I ended up just driving around to an op shop and I'm really glad I did because I picked up a few little things. Um, I was out actually looking for some calico which I couldn't find again I really only buy my calico from op shops um, but they didn't have any in this one but they did have this like a really soft um, linen-y cotton fabric so that was just um, a couple of dollars there was that piece there and then this one here, which actually, when I looked at it, I thought, oh, calico. And then I thought, no, it's not. It's um, it's a bit nicer than calico. So I ended up getting those two really lovely pieces. And I also found some flash cards. Now, these were $2, which, you know, I thought, oh, they're a bit dear, but... I do like adding these into the pockets when I do the journals and this is the first time I've actually found like flash cards so they've got kind of like five plus five on that side and then they've got other ones over here with little pictures of animals, birds mice and looks like ants or something so I picked those up too um, and I don't know about anyone else but I have noticed that the prices in our op shops have increased and mainly because they everything has to be cleaned now before they sell it so I think that's why the price increase. I did find a couple of old books. Now I picked up this one here. Um, it's a Reader's Digest. It's the 20 best books from Reader's Digest. But I got it for the cover because I thought, oh, might get that. Um, and use mainly use the cover out of it, off it. Um, for like a a grungy type lap book without covering the cover on the outside it's pretty grungy already so I got that I think they charged me two dollars for this too so I didn't mind that um, it's got a copyright here or published 1956 copyright 1956 so it is a pretty old book so I really I'm really happy with that cover and it's got a nice thickness so that I could put two in and maybe a, a two signature uh, journal in there as well okay so there was that one and then I also picked this one up because I'm always on the lookout for different types of pages to go in my journals and this one here is Chinese in 10 minutes a day and I thought oh how cool so it has got some Chinese words on it um, I suppose I could try and learn Chinese couldn't I uh, no <laughs> I done French at school and I still only remember a little bit of that and I done that for what two years well but I thought these pages they are so cool and they would look good as some um, um, 
pages in a signature something a little bit different that's pretty cool and they're a, they're a matte page too which is even better I like getting the matte ones but yeah it's got little pops of colour on it yeah so I got that one and then I got this one here Alison Holst's New Zealand Recipe Notes um, this was a pretty old one too I think um, it's got a couple of lovely images on it. Oh, it's not that old. It's 1987. But it's got this here, and I thought, oh, they're going to make some really nice pages in signatures as well. Or I could actually cut out a few of these images and use them for decoration. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so yeah, I got that one. It's got recipes in it, bran muffins, um, apple roly poly. Oh, my mum used to make that when we were younger. Yeah, oh, I remember that. Vegetables and salads, but yeah, I really like the pages so. Not sure. I'll use these lined ones in the journals and maybe some of these ones I could actually just cut out some of these images and use those in journals too. Alright, so I got that one. And then I found this. I haven't even opened it. This was 50 cents. Um, it is geo paper more than words can say so lantern geo lantern I'm going to open it very festive oh lovely that's pretty isn't it could use that in a journal as well I could even use it that way in, or you could cut out these images here so that wasn't even opened and I thought, yeah, 50 cents, that'll be good. I can use that. Okay, so there was that. And then, oh my gosh, my favourite, Heidi. I found this there too. Um, this is Heidi. This was my very first book. Not this one. It was a, a bit smaller, I think. Or maybe, yeah. It was. It was a bit smaller because it was a bit thicker. Um, this was the very first book that my mum ever brought me in primary school for me to keep. Oh my goodness, I loved it. Um, yeah, and when I seen this, I thought, oh yes, I'm going to get this. Now this one's pretty old. It's got a, a few watermarks on it, I think. So this is... 1986 so it's really not that old either isn't it but it's got beautiful illustrations in here um, and the pages are matte so these will look really cool in a journal or even cut some of those images out for tags or something but it smells old. Mmm, it does. I can smell it from here. I don't even have to put my nose that close to it. <laughs> Clara's Little Kittens. Yeah, it's just a beautiful book, Heidi. It was a beautiful story. Um, it wasn't the first one I actually read when I was younger. The first book I actually read was The Man from Uncle, UNCLE that was the first book I read and then I wanted my mum to buy me another one in the Man from Uncle series and she wouldn't until I actually read Heidi <laughs> alright so that's it guys just a small little haul today for me but it made me really happy because you know I had to go up and go to the bank and close hubby's accounts which kind of like put me in a bit of a sad mood 
well more than just a sad mood um, poor lady I ended up crying up there <laughs> but Mary Ann she was just she was wonderful she understood I thought I was doing really well today I thought yep I can get this done it's the last thing that I had to do on the list yeah but you just don't realize that you think you're having a good day and then all of a sudden you just break down okay so that's it guys that's my little haul I hope you enjoyed all right you have a great day and I'll catch you later bye bye guys